se brakate yahawa brakate yoshai brakate yahawa brakate yoshai brakate yahawa brakate yoshai first and foremost want to give our praises and honor and glory to yahawa bashem yoshai bashem raka kodash double to the apostles and elders who rule well a great man stone and a blessed sanitation to the akiyams and the folk on the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth shalom just want to do a quick lesson right you know for the today's wacky tacky ass christian you christians really think hell is a is a physical place under the earth with fire burning you really think that that is a place under the earth where it's continual being born with um, fire flame of fire continual continually burning you christian are delusional right so let's let me go into some precept right to cut the madness and also to say hell is the place of of punishment so uh, so we can go into the scripture and the scripture can tell you where is the place of punishment right the scripture also tell you where the spirit of men when when the flesh die where it go either good or either good or evil where the spirit our spirit go to one place as i mean our spirit of men go to one place and the spirit of beasts go to a next a different place which is the spirit of men go up and the spirit of beasts go down all right so let me go to the scripture because the scripture the scriptures um the scripture gonna clear up all this madness <coughs> so lock here <you>. right <coughs> so lock you. Uh, let me start off with um let me start off with um let me get Amos nine. Let me start with Amos nine. Right, because you um you Christian doctrine that you Christian push, you say hell is a place underground with fire burning, right? So why I, I want you I want you to explain this. If hell if hell is a place under the ground right with fire burning i want you christian explain this all right um so lucky just a minute let me just put in this information it was nine all right all right let me just get the greek word for the word hell i think it's shahul let's make sure I, um Right. Let's get so lucky a bit a minute. All right. Yeah, Sha um Shaol. Strong's H seventy five eighty five. Sha'ol. Sha'ol. And second entry. Sha'ol. So the word hell in the in the in the Hebrew is shahol, right? The word is shahol, which mean which mean grave or pit, right? So you Christian push a doctrine saying that hell is a place underground, burning with fire, right? Burning with fire. We teach <coughs> the man, the Lord. We teach right that hell is a condition and we can show you the scripture that hell is a condition you know hell is slavery you understand right this is amos chapter 9 verse 2 though they dig into hell and this going into the elites of this world this is where they're going to try to hide right and the, the underground bunker from this nuclear apocalypse that's about to happen they're going to hide in space they're going to hide under they're gonna hide in the underground bunker and they're gonna hide in the sea so if hell is a place of fire burning with fire why the hell these elite digging into hell who in the right mind gonna dig into hell if there's a place with fire burning right this is Amos chapter 9 verse 2 he said though they dig into hell right hell also mean the grave or pit so the, this hell they're digging into is the, is the underground bunker he said though they dig into hell hence shall my hands take them 
though they climb up to heaven in the space, hiding in space, right, in the space shuttle, hence will I bring them down, right, and these, these, um, these top elites, right, some of the Rakshites, Rockefeller, the Dupans, you know, they're going to escape the nuclear destruction because they're going to be the first crop of slaves, you so-called white people, the elites, right, you are going to be the first crop of slaves, and the, so the rest of the rest of so -called white people that die, they're going to come back through your lines as children, they're going to burn into slavery, right so this is a straight cut for you wacky tacky ass christian who think hell is a is an actual place burning with fire and this where you be and this where you're going to punish right so this is a straight cut because nobody in the right mind not gonna dig into hell if hell is a place of fire right so there's a straight cut uh let me get the next one this is uh um, this is jonah and this proving that hell is a condition is a difficult a difficult position you know you catch hell we catching hell in this place you know you so called negroes latin native american indian you know we beneath all these nations and these nations oppress us we catch hell we in slavery you understand hell is a condition right this is jonah chapter 2 verse 1 he said then jonah pray unto the lord his power out of the fish belly and the most I make a, a fish swallow Jonah because Jonah was being rebellious because the most I saying to do something and he didn't go, and he didn't do it, right? The most I saying to preach, you know, against the uh, Nineveh and he didn't do it, so the most I punish him, right? He said then Jonah pray unto the Lord, his power out of the fish belly, right? And for you, for you retarded niggers. Who don't believe that a fish a fish can swallow a man? Yo, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh he's omnipotent power. The power he, the power of heaven and earth, he's omnipotent power. He could do anything. So we don't care if you retarded niggas don't believe. Right? We know you are gonna be destroyed. All all the unfaithful gonna die in the unfaithfulness. Right? Uh, verse two. Then said I then Salakia and I and said I Salakia and said, I cry by reason of my an affliction unto the Lord, and he heareth me out of the belly of hell. So you telling me in the fish belly was born in fire? In this fish belly was born in fire? No, he was in a difficult he was he was in a he was in a difficult place. You can imagine you in a fish belly smelling all them different smell that you get inside it dark inside it for three days and three nights you in a fish belly he was being afflicted you understand he was in a difficult difficult position so it was a condition you understand right he said and said i cry by reason of mine affliction unto the lord and he heareth me out of the belly of hell cry i and thou hearest my voice yeah, so he wasn't in no fire. There's no fire in the fish belly. Right? So you Christian man, you Christian true. You understand? You Christian true. Let me get this one in um um Abacup. Alright, this is Abacup chapter two. Let me start from verse four. Behold, his soul which is lift up is not upright in him, and this is so called white man. His soul is not right. Right? He said, Behold, his soul which is lift up is not upright in him because he's a proud man. Right? But the just shall live by his faith, and the just is the Israelite, which is the elect. Right? Verse 5. He said, Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Yea, he transgressed by he transgressed by his democracy, his philosophies. You understand? He puts democracy. He puts democracy on this nation. That's why this nation accepting homosexuality and pushing the pushing the wicked vibration in the earth. You understand? He says he's a proud man. Need to keep it at home. America got garrison in over in over hundred and something country. Got garrison. They got the embassy. They got a military base. They, they they show that they they have ownership of the land. You understand? He's a proud man. He never keep it at home. He, are, he in Syria, he in Afghanistan, he in Libya, he in uh, Iraq, he in a certain part of Africa. 
he all over the place he's a proud man never keep it at home right he said who enlarge who enlarge it his desire is hell so hell is the grave the word for hell in hebrew is shahol which is the grave so the grave never full so the soca white man never satisfy he keep going in the poor country he keeps stealing the resources right he keeps setting up this fast flag this fast war this fast terrace to go in to be justified to go in to steal so he never satisfy so hey the soca white man is hell <laughs> he, he have he have fire born inside of him you christian are a bunch of idiot right he said who enlarged his desires hell so the the word hell less it go back to the word shahol which means grave or pit so the grave never full took a white man never satisfy he greedy and is as debt so anyway this man go is chaos is debt he kill everything you understand and cannot be satisfied but got unto him all nation and he put unto him all people right so hey you you saying that hell is a place of fire burning you 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 so-called christians y'all are delusional y'all are delusional right um this is psalms right uh this is psalms 139 um start from four seven psalms 139 for seven he said whether whether shall i go from thy spirit or whether shall i flee from thy present if i ascend up in heaven thou art there if i make my bed in hell behold thou art there so this question to you is to you wacky tucky ass christian you said you said the most i yahweh who the world can be called god in hell yeah this hell going this hell this hell is a condition this hell going into slavery this is a condition these are people who being oppressed you understand so it says verse 8 psalms 139 verse 8 he said if i ascend up into heaven thou art there if i make my bed in hell behold thou art there you understand so wait do you have any father in hell people you people you christian are delusional man you christian are delusional you understand you are delusional let me get one more all right let me get this one here. so you say in hell is up you say you christian believe that hell hell is a place underground with fire with fire burning this is revelation 20 and 14 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death so if 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 hell you claim that hell is a place of fire explain to me how you destroy fire with fire you understand how you did how you explain to me how you de, how you how you destroy fire with fire this death is the so-called white one right and these are the heathen nations that that in the land of America and the two third of people that in the land of America are gonna be destroyed. And they're gonna cast into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is America. Why it gonna become a lake of fire? Because these nations are gonna shoot a missile on America. And also the chariot through the world they're gonna call UFO. So like you, uh yeah, also the chariot through the world they're gonna call UFO. They're gonna shoot the laser at America. So America gonna become the lake of fire. Right? So they say and death and hell were cast into the lake of lake of fire. This is the second death. So if you claim that hell and the ground is a place of fire, how you destroy a fire with fire? Hey man, you Christians are retarded. You know, let me see what's the place what's the place of judgment. Right? Let me get Isaiah. You can see what's the place of judgment. Right, um, Isaiah, uh, Salakia, Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah, uh, Salakia, Isaiah 20, 26, right. Uh, 
सलाम किया I see twenty six and nine. All right. You just get us out, Mark. The Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter twenty six, verse nine. He said, "With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me, I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the heart." So the place of judgment is in the earth, right? He said, For when thy judgment are in the earth, the inhabitant of the world will learn righteousness. So in the earth is the place of judgment. And the scripture said, Under the heaven is the place of judgment, right? Which is under the firmament, right? Is in the earth, is in the earth, the most high is, is, bring, is bring forth his judgment every day. Right, let me get another precept. You know, you you um you you wacky tacky ass Christian are delusional. You understand? Y'all are y'all are delusional. This is Zachariah three and five. Let me just call it this. Right, Zachariah um Salak is Zephaniah chapter three verse five. He said the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity every morning do he bring his judgment to light so every time you see a hey, you see earthquake you see mudslide you see tsunami you see building collapse you see plane crash you see people, people, people being put to death you know by gunshot by stabbing people sick and dying hey this is the most high judgment this is the judgment in the earth you understand and when and when and when when a man flesh die and his, his spirit go back up to the heavens and we're going to prove it through the scriptures right zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5 he said the just lord is in the midst thereof he will not do iniquity every morning do he bring his judgment to light so every day we see the most high judgment in the earth he said he he said he fail it not but the unjust know it no shame you 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 wacky tacky ass christian y'all are unjust y'all know it no shame y'all don't know judgment yeah, I don't know the most high judgment. But the scripture said evil man understand no judgment. Y'all a bunch of evil men. Right? Professing that y'all is professing that y'all godly. Right? Y'all is a bunch of evil men. Right? Um, let me get this here. Right? Like, this is Proverbs 28 and 5. He said, Evil men understand not judgment. So y'all don't understand judgment. In the earth is a place of judgment. Now there's no ground and no fire burning. Y'all are delusional. He said, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. But they that seek the Lord understand all things. You understand? So in the earth is the most high, this place of the most high judgment. Right? Um, let me get this one in um, Ecclesiastes. Um, Ecclesiastes. Right? This is... Um, I think it's more down. Yeah. This is um in a highlight. This is Ecclesiastes chapter three verse twenty. It says all go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. So your 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 budeg, right? Which is which is your body, right? Which is which is your which is the your house, the house for your spirit? It go back to what it does because the, your, your your flesh is dust, right? It go back to the ground, right? It's seven twenty one. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward? So the spirit of man goeth upward, right? He said, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth. So the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth. You understand? So this, hey, there's a straight cut for these, um, for these wacky, tacky ass Christian. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, um, verse 7. He said, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, which is your body, right? The body made up of the elements of the earth. And that's why we tell these reprobate that you're not black. There's no such thing as a black man. 
right you are a different shade of brown if your body made up of the elements of the earth how the hell you black these niggas are dumb ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit shall return unto the most high who give it so all spirit return unto the most high that give it you understand so hey the hell doctrine day is total madness all right so let me just close off on this video here so lucky let me just close off on this video all right yeah the hell doctrine is madness right there's a whole delusion of, that was set up by the roman catholic church so uh, to bring fear on the people all right and we can play this here So lucky okay, it's not kind of moving a little slow. Alright, let me um let me let me let me restart it. I don't think hell exists. I happen to believe in life after death. But I don't think it's got a thing to do with reward and punishment. Religion is always in the control business. Uh, and that's something people don't really understand. It's, it's in the guilt-producing control business. And if you have heaven as a place where you're rewarded for your goodness and hell as a place where you're punished for your evil, then you sort of have control of the population. And so they create this fiery place, which has quite literally scared the hell out of a lot of people throughout Christian history. Mm -hmm. And it's part of a control tactic. But wait a minute, you're saying that hell, the idea of a place under the earth or somewhere where you're tormented for an eternity, is actually an invention oh, of yes. the church. I think the church fired its furnaces hotter than anybody else. <clears throat> but I think there's a sense in most religious life of, of reward and punishment in some form. The church doesn't like for people to grow up because you can't control grown-ups. That's why we talk about being born again. When you're born again, you're still a child. The people don't need to be born again. They need to grow up. They need to accept their responsibility for themselves and the world. What do you make of the theology, which uh, is pretty quite prominent these days in America, which is that there is one guaranteed way not to go to hell? And that is to accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Yeah, I grew up in that tradition. Uh, every church I know claims that we are the true church. And they have some ultimate authority. We have the infallible Pope. We have the inerrant Bible. The idea that the truth of God can be bound in any human system, by any human creed, by any human book, is almost beyond imagination for me. I mean, God is not a Christian. God is not a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist. All of those are human systems which human beings have created to try to help us walk into the mystery of God. I honor my tradition. I walk through my tradition. But I don't believe my tradition defines God. I think it only... Yeah, so, you know, you know, you tell you that, hey, the church created hell. You know, the church doctrine, the, the hell doctrine was created by the church to scare the hell out of people. And it did. <laughs> you understand? You know, they don't, he don't even believe in the madness with the teach, you know. You know, something he said that on point and something he was off in, you understand. But, hey, just, just to bring out to show that, hey, you wacky-tacky ass Christian are delusional, you understand. You are delusional. So, hey, with that, hope is less edifying. I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, Dublanus to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Mestone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the folk and the to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.